This is a brief technology awareness overview of the newer advancements from the John Crane family of products. Today we will cover John Crane Pure Diamond Face technology, dry gas seal technology updates, upstream pumper technology, 8648 VRS seal line, cur the current iterations and future plans for the product line, laser face LHC sealing uh, face technology, gas and oil filtration, specifically the recent solving of flow vortice efficiency issues within metallic filtration. And then JCAMS, condition-based maintenance and asset management solutions arm of John Crane. And then finally, local support for additional training, finite element analysis via our C-Steady, C-Trans, and WebCalc's internal software suites. So to begin, John Crane Pure Diamond, what is it? Well, it's an allotrope of carbon, pure phase SP3 bonded diamond. What it is not is a graphite chain that's layered in a planar structure like an SP2 bond. This is not a DLC, diamond-like carbon or diamond-like coating, which would be a mixture of many forms of carbon structures overlaid on top of a mechanical seal face. And there's very pro various properties based on a specific mixture. And while it can provide very good lubricity benefits, it doesn't provide the durability or the chemical resistance of diamond because it's an overlay on top of a surface and it will erode over time or go away. So how is pure diamond substrate accomplished? Well, it's through a chemical vapor deposition-like process. The diamond is actually grown on the seal face and bonds the diamond to the substrate material, whether it be a silicon carbide substrate or a tungsten carbide substrate. The coating happens in, the re in a reactor at about 800 C, and the current maximum uh, diameter size part that we can make is about 12 inches. What's interesting is that we have done a lot of delamination testing of this material because as, as some people know, a composite can struggle with thermal growths or flexes and delaminate or come apart. The diamond, this diamond product has been vetted thoroughly for no delamination and actually thermal shocked parts for tests of shatter fracture and uh, incontinuities, discontinuities within the diamond adhesion to the substrate, and we have full performance of the material. So why now? Um, diamond processing was initially focused. The research was focused on high pressure, high temperature. Um, diamond coating using gas phase carbon, CVD, started in the 80s. And attempts were made to post-finish the diamond, um, but very difficult because of how hard diamond is. And then in 1993, Argonne National Laboratory invented smooth diamond coatings, which is the basis of what we have today on mechanical seal faces. John Crane Diamond transferred Argonne's process to a commercial scale, and we are building out the base for uh, the industrial uses of this technology. So why would you care? Well, diamond as a material has a lot of properties, good properties, but the specific ones that we care about in mechanical seals is the hardness, the thermal conductivity, the low friction, and the chemical inertness of the material. So if you look down below, there's a chart here for some intermittent dry running tests that we ran in our lab facilities. Um, if you look at the lower left, this would be what we consider a traditional hard face combination. 9221 versus 9221 would be our silicon carbide versus silicon carbide hard face. And there was a thermal probe put into the mating ring and a pump was drained to simulate dry run and then ran and shut off once it reached a certain high temperature threshold. As you can see, the traditional hard face materials failed quite quickly. The 9221 versus 7250, the next graph or next bar, would be traditional resin-filled carbon versus silicon carbide, and it did run a little longer, about five minutes in a dry run scenario, and then water was reintroduced. What's interesting is the 8189 versus 9221, this would be a diamond-coated ring versus silicon carbide. And as you can see, it ran over 15 minutes before reaching the temperature threshold and having water reintroduced. The next bar graph is 8189 versus 8189, which would be diamond versus diamond and it ran over 30 minutes before reaching temperature threshold. And the final bar graph would be 8189 versus 1883, which is diamond versus graphite impregnated silicon carbide, which ran past 35 minutes before reaching temperature threshold. And what this does for us is it allows us to run hard face materials with the added strength, chemical resistance, and uh, longevity while still achieving 
as good or better results for face life and longevity as you would with a carbon versus silicon traditional seal face setup. Dry gas seals for pumps and compressors. John Crane has always been a leader in dry gas seal technology. We have our 2874 line, which is patented spiral groove technology designed for API pump applications and, and wet pump applications. These seals are pressurized with dry gas, typically nitrogen, and operate from negative 30 to 800 Fahrenheit range and upwards of 600 PSIG. We also have our turbo seal line, which we have continued to make advancements in specifically in more narrow cross-section and retrofits as well, where we can come in and replace old style oil seals that are failing with new dry gas seal technology for better life and longevity. Dry gas seals work by building a dam or pressure dam within the seal interface when dynamic of gas and they actually float and self-regulate leakage. So they are theoretically an infinite wear device. John Crane dynamic lift upstream pumping technology is an evolution of the spiral groove technology borrowed from our dry gas seal line. Traditionally, if you had a processor service that was too hot or too dirty or too nasty or too dangerous for a single wet seal, you would go to a dual pressurized wet seal where you would have a double mechanical seal and a support system pressurized to a higher pressure than what the seal chamber sees. What dynamic lift upstream pumping technology allows you to do is have an unpressurized barrier fluid that actually pumps across the inboard seal face into the process fluid without requiring external pressure source for your seal support system. So in this example, this is our 5620 frame, you have P1, which would be process pressure at a higher pressure than our barrier fluid, P2 in blue. And what you'll see as we rotate around is as it goes dynamic, those that groove profile pulls the clean barrier fluid across the seal face and slowly pushes fluid into the process. So you have an unpressurized dual seal that actually acts like it were a dual pressurized seal in service. And we apply this upstream technology to a variety of our seal lines, the 48 line, our uh, 588 line, and also our 5860 slurry seal line. And this can allow you to have much improved performance and seal life in bad applications where you are unable to do a higher end or more expensive dual pressurized seal support system. The 8648 VRS crude feed and pipeline seal is a newly developed patented and robust seal design targeted at the North American and Canadian crude oil sealing services. We have far more than 60 tests over more than 6,000 plus hours of dynamic testings, far more shafts uh, over the initial release standard 6.13, 5.510, and 3.260 sizes. And we are pushing past these 2200 PSIG dynamic and 3300 PSIG static pressures as well. It is a non-pusher secondary seal technology that enhances reliability that cannot hang up or wear on metal stub sleeve. What we have experienced in industry is issues over time with dynamic O-rings underneath primary heads, either wearing the O-ring down over time or fretting into the stub sleeve or, or uh, metal material under them over time and wearing out and leading to premature failure. So in this seal, you will see as we zoom in and cut away that underneath the primary head, there is not a dynamic O-ring, a traditional O-ring like you would normally see. Instead, you're going to see what we call an MPSS, and it's a bellows-derived design that flexes with the head and it slides along the stub sleeve as the head needs to move with the shaft movement. And this has led to much longer seal life in the crude feed and pipeline seal market. We are also expanding this seal line, so we are playing with more face treatments, newer face materials, different balances, and dual seal technologies using this same NPSS approach. In conjunction with the 8648 VRS, we also developed or saw the need and developed a high pressure SPC containment bushing. So this is designed to last 
to have zero leakage in a failure mode up to 1500 PSI for two minutes at pump full speed, up to 1500 PSI for an additional three minutes during shaft coast down period, and another 15 minutes after shutdown at zero leakage and 1500 PSI. And this meets a need for outboard single seal containment requirements with zero leakage at these higher pressures as people continue to push pipeline uh, pressures further and further. On top of this, John Crane has other face treatments in industry. One specifically worth mentioning is for volatile LHC sealing with laser face technology. We specifically designed this to handle volatile LHC sealing to have the lowest emissions possible um, in high pressures and LHC. JCAMS is the asset management solutions business for John Crane, providing reliability, maintenance, inventory, and asset health services across the entire planet. There are two primary arms or divisions within this group. There is the CBM, Condition-Based Maintenance and Predictive Diagnostics Group, that handles through our center of excellence and through on-site contracts, vibration routes, predictive diagnostics, monthly reports, um, and consulting. And then there's the data management team side, which handles SAP type upgrades, either from system to system or internal system upgrades, inventory optimization projects for reduction in uh, spares and overhead, and work order optimization flow throughput along with uh, critical spares analysis. So the JCAMS team or arm covers quite a few things, but can offer a lot in the reliability approach uh, for a site. John Crane filtration is our endofill group, lube oil and gas filtration elements. We do stateside gas filter cleaning and refurbishment, and we also have our own soup to nuts filtration group. We own our own OEM filtration manufacturing. We're the parent company to Seabock. But specifically, we have solved some recent problems with flow vortices and gas throughputs in metallic filtration for gas. John Crane seal gas filtration systems already protect thousands of your mission critical operations. Dry gas seal equipped centrifugal compressors require a constant supply of clean, dry filtered gas. So filtration performance directly affects reliability and OPEX. Now, new Indifil FCF seal gas filtration performance results in the best protection for your critical equipment, evident process savings, and operational advantages. The new seal gas filtration system from John Crane is a more efficient and compact design to save space and energy. To reach optimal performance, the system flow needs to be streamlined. Conditioning the flow is particularly important when used in combination with three-way valves or 90-degree bends, where the efficiency of the filtration process is adversely affected by the resulting flow vorticity. The outward directed motion of the vortex naturally increases the velocity in the wet band of the filter element increasing the likelihood of droplet re-entrainment and reducing efficiency. The result is that the dry gas seal is not optimally protected and a relatively high system pressure drop is seen. Such inefficiencies are the cause of unplanned downtime, more maintenance and increased OPEX. Using computational flow dynamics, a more efficient solution has been developed to ensure the best protection for your dry gas seal applications. The Indufil FCF series coalescing filters has a combination of new flow conditioning technologies to deliver increased process efficiency in a smaller unit. Additive manufacturing is used to create a custom flow straightener built into the inlet of each filter element. Its honeycomb structure removes vortices from the gas flow and secures an optimum streamlined flow where it matters most. CFD analysis also showed that filter size matters. Using the ideal diameter to length ratio for each filter size enables even flow distribution, further reduction in droplet re-entrainment, and improved coalescing performance. And the use of new hydrophobic treated filter media improves droplet drain speed. As standard, contaminants of one micron and smaller are removed at efficiencies of 99.9%. The new John Crane seal gas filtration system delivers significantly reduced pressure drop and optimized process flow with up to 50% lower pressure drop both at startup and in operation, plus increased flow capacity up to 60%.
Systems are available in single and duplex configuration, specified precisely to your application, complying with international pressure vessel and design codes, and fully compliant with API 692. New Indufil FCF filtration systems enhance centrifugal compressor reliability and deliver crucial operational efficiencies. Setting new standards in seal gas filtration. Today, tomorrow, together. And finally, there is training and finite element analysis uh, seal application available in your area. So trainings, we are happy to support on site or virtually. This can be anything from seal design and piping plan applications to support system setup, operation and troubleshooting and root cause failure analysis. We provide shop training um, for proper seal installation and shop test procedures as well. We also provide off-site training at our super centers in Santa Fe Springs, Pasadena, Texas, and Morton Grove. And this is, covers a variety of topics, basics of seals and seal support systems, proper pump maintenance, pump alignments, and dry gas seals. In addition to all of this, John Crane has developed some very robust in-house finite element analysis tools. Our C-Steady, C-Trans, and WebCalcs programs can help ensure that the seals being applied to your hardest services have no problems and work exactly as expected right out of the box. For additional information on any of the topics discussed here, additional training, information, or needs, please contact Jacob Gorlick in Alaska.